Korea against Italy at the Univar Stadium in Kobe. All four teams in Group B can go through to the quarter-finals at the 2012 FIFA Women's Under-20 World Cup here in Japan. In Kobe, Nigeria only have to avoid defeat to claim a place in the last eight, while Italy need at least a two-goal margin of victory if they are to go through. It's another very warm afternoon in Kobe. Temperatures around 32 degrees centigrade. Italy were unlucky not to win their opening Group B match in Saitama. Elena Lenari had given Italy a one-goal lead, only for Brazil to equalise in stoppage time to earn a draw. As for Nigeria, they started their campaign with a 2-0 victory over Korea Republic and then drew 1-1 with Brazil. Italy losing their second match 2-0 to Korea Republic. So it sets up a fascinating last match between these two teams. And this is how Group B looks. Despite the fact that Italy are bottom of the table, they would join Nigeria on four points if they were able to beat the Nigerians today. And then goal difference would come into play, which is by the margin of victory is so important for Italy if they are to win. As you can see, Nigeria need just a point to go through, no matter what happens in today's other match, which is between Korea Republic and Brazil in Tokyo. So plenty for all the four teams in Group B to play for. Italy haven't helped themselves in this competition by having a player dismissed in both of their matches so far. Michaela Franco is suspended today, having been sent off against Korea Republic in the 2 0 defeat after two <laughs> yellow cards. Two yellow cards also for Federica Da Crisio, the midfielder against Brazil. She was suspended for the last game. As for Nigeria, coach Okon Edwin. Named the same team for both their opening matches, but one change today. Captain Gloria Ofegbu there is one of the Nigerian players who is walking a disciplinary tightrope. She is one yellow card away from a suspension. Nigeria have supporters inside the stadium in Kobe. It seems that wherever in the world Nigeria are playing, no matter what level of international football it is, they have fans and it is terrific to see. Tense last moments here in the tunnel down below here at the Univar Stadium in Kobe. Italy know that they have to win, otherwise, this could be their last appearance at this under 20 World Cup finals. And perhaps just a little bit of tension there in the faces of the young Italian players. It's win or go home for Italy. Taking part in the FIFA Under-20 World Cup for only the second time in their history. Back in 2004, Italy were eliminated after the first group stage after a draw and two defeats. Well, they've had a draw and one defeat so far. As for Nigeria, runners-up last time in 2010 when they lost in the final to the hosts, Germany. A point will do for them. Both these sides having been based in Saitama for their opening Group B matches. So a change of venue for both today. Well-kept pitch awaiting them. A 
but as we have had throughout the tournament here in Japan, high temperatures to contend with. Out from the air-conditioned area outside the dressing rooms, out into the humidity and heat of an afternoon in Kobe. How will the heat affect both these teams as they go for glory and a place in the quarterfinals? Italy and Nigeria in just a moment or so's time. But first of all, the two national anthems. First of all, the national anthem of Italy. Two rousing national anthems ahead of this Group B fixture between Nigeria and Italy. Nigeria who need only a draw to go through to the quarterfinals. Italy have to win by at least two goals if they are to reach the last eight. Plenty of mathematical permutations ahead in Group B, but the simple fact is that Italy have to win this game in the first place and win it well. Italy make four changes to the side that started against Korea Republic. Lisa Alboghetti returns after injury. Valentina Pedretti, Federica De Crisio and Ariana Ferrati all making their first starts of the tournament. De Crisio was suspended for the last match after her dismissal against Brazil. Michaela Franco is suspended today after she got a red card against Korea Republic. Yang King is in charge of today's match. All the... Three officials on the pitch are from China. Yeah. Italy then to kick off. As he sat, Oshorala comes into the Nigerian team as coach Okon Edwin makes a change 
to the starting lineup for the first time at this tournament. She replaces Charity Adule. Goalkeeper Ibubele White went off with an ankle injury against Brazil in Nigeria's one all draw in their last match, but she has recovered to start today. Apart from Oshuola, the other ten players in this Nigerian team have started all three Group B fixtures. And there's the substitutes for you. Confirmation that number four for Italy, Michele Franco, is unavailable for this match, having been and sent off in Italy's last game. So Italy haven't had a player sent off in both of their group matches so far. Corradini in charge of the Italian under-20 side. His counterpart, Ocon Edwin. <laughs> Plenty at stake then for both these nations. Sir Albergetti back after injury. Kaziri Opa Onozi, key striker for Nigeria. Italy then get this Group B fixture underway. Italy who know that they have to win by at least two goals if they're to have any chance of going through to the quarter-finals. If Nigeria avoid defeat, then they will take their place in the last eight. An early chance on the far side. It's played in the middle towards Ordega. Esther Sunday with the cross for Nigeria. All in green. Italy all in white this afternoon. It is a warm day in Kobe, 32 degrees centigrade. And the FIFA officials and FIFA medical staff have said that we will have a water break during this uh, first half, and that's quite sensible to that. Like a foul throw, Italy was certainly uh, claiming that. Not given, though, by the referee. And just away to safety by De Crisio. The central midfielder returning to the Italian side after suspension. Couldn't be gathered by Rasuki. Laura Giuliani is the Italian goalkeeper. There is a scenario where three of the teams in Group B could finish on four points if Italy win here and if Korea, Republic and Brazil draw their match, which is taking place at the same time as this one. And it all comes down to goal difference. There's the possibility of there having to be the drawing of lots in the for headquarters in Tokyo later this evening. Let's hope that it doesn't come down to that. Ronaldo Corradini will have sent his team out with a very clear message. Don't concede early. Find your way into the match. Let's see if we can get that 2 0 advantage. by Adeyemo, chasing here, Laura Ondega, and Ondega almost able to uh, put the cross in, it was just uh, stopped by Filipozzi, and Nigeria get the first corner of the afternoon, Filipozzi sliding in, Filipozzi went off injured actually against the uh, Korea Republic in Italy's last game, which they lost by two goals to nil. Celia Unku will take this throw in. It's a corner kick, rather, for Nigeria. Way by Filipozzi. The Nigerian players offside there, but uh, none of them went for the ball, which is the reason that the flag stayed down. More effort in the end coming in. Mugu and Joko. 
Con Edwin will be heartened by his side's early start. See the message there from him. Calm things down, we've got plenty of time. Now, that's interesting, it's a short goal kick from Giuliani. Which possibly suggests that the goalkeeper is the most uh, proficient of the part of the longer set-piece delivery. Way by a juggle. Vega on the far side. Kobe. A little bit of room perhaps on this near side for Esther Sunday, but she just took her eye off it. Didn't really worked there for Nigeria, because certainly there was a little bit of room on this near touchline for them to try and exploit. Salvage just trying to steal a few more metres. Bounce there for uh, Giuliani to deal with from the, the authoritative striker for Nigeria. One of the goals against Korea Republic in Nigeria's opening victory. Fielder Okobi getting the other. Now a chance for Suzuki. Sushi here with the uh, opportunity. Two defenders converging quickly. Shizala. Korea DPR's matches here in uh, Kobe. We had the accompaniment of the supporters. Musical accompaniment from the supporters of that team. And we've got the musical accompaniment from the Nigerian fans here in Kobe today. Ensconced in the shade on this near side. The shade will make its way slowly across the pitch in the course of the late afternoon. But White just leaves it. Ledley with the back pass. Best of crosses in. Valentina Pedretti. Certainly, it is very warm here in Kobe. Odega. Goal against Brazil in Saitama in Nigeria's second group match, a one-all draw. 
It's been very unfortunate not to beat Brazil in their opening uh, Group B fixture. And then Elenari with a spectacular goal for the Italians, but Brazil equalised in the 92nd minute of that match. Ortega. Place by Joko. All of the Nigerian squad are affiliated with clubs in Nigeria. Oh! It's a corner. The referee first indicated a goal kick and has continued to indicate a goal kick. Let's have another look here as Pedretti is through. Is there a final touch there? Giuliani, undisputed first choice goalkeeper. Quite reached the halfway line with the goal kick, but it's some distance from it. Fenkwu. Now play. Sunday couldn't keep it in. Salvai with the throw, the right back. It's too high for Suchi. Neither side yet in the opening ten minutes able to muster a goal scoring opportunity of note. Italy, one of the first teams to qualify for the uh, under 20 Women's World Cup, along with Germany. Those teams making sure of their uh, places back in June 2011, just before the start of the actual Women's World Cup last year in Germany. They both won the second straight time in the group round of the Under-19 Women's Championship in Europe. World Cup, losing to the hosts in the final by Marshall that didn't disgrace them. for uh, both of these teams. That it's a track that encircles the uh, pitch means that the dugouts have to be situated a certain distance back from the pitch in order to allow spectators a clear sight line of proceedings. Adeyemo. Picked up here by Cecilia Unku. Odega. Challenge from uh, Filipozzi. Ortega slowly coming to her feet. Way by De Cristio. Anku. First real 
shot that we've seen in the match. Cecilia Unku. Never really testing, though. Laura Giuliani in the Italian goal. Always curling away. across the near side of the pitch incidentally will creep across at a quite a rate when the sun does start to uh, set properly it's really a dusk time here in uh, Kobe led by Sunday who made three appearances at last year's uh, World Cup finals themselves in Germany Suchi with the header, needed support, might get it from Ferrati. Anku almost caught in possession there, it comes off Claudia Mauri once more, but I think that's a, a painful blow for the Italian midfielder. Joku. Shuala. Fengbu. Sunday's ball inside, but uh, cut out by Alba Garetti. Couldn't quite uh, find Rasucci. Lisa Alba Garetti just uh, playing in a slightly dropped off role behind the main striker, Martina Rossici. with the ball forward. Soft Maori. That's a good run on the far side. Two in the middle waiting for the cross. And that was a good opportunity for Opera Nozzi. Didn't look to be too much on there for Nigeria. Opera Nazi on the right of your picture there, just hanging back a little bit and able to get away from the two defenders before scooping the shot over the bar. And having had sight on goal from close range, she knows that perhaps she should have kept that shot down. will give encouragement to Nigeria. Bye bye, Pedretti. chance of the match then goes the way of Oak on Edwin's side the Nigeria just need to avoid defeat in this match and they will go through not be good enough for uh, Italy They'll probably count themselves a little unlucky not to have four points Three points rather already. Perhaps a beat result, just couldn't hold on. Two draws out of two so far, drawing with both these sides. Going to safety by Pedretti. As a substitute against the uh, Brazilians, Valentina Pedretti, and in from the start today. to take the throw for Nigeria. She's got quite some distance on it as well. But obviously couldn't uh, wait to find the turn. Josephine Chukwononye is one of the central defenders for Nigeria. 
stand forward. And the flag stays down. It has to be cleared away in safety first from Cecilia Salvi. Right back across to cover. And suddenly things looked a little dangerous there for Italy. Opranozzi. 